This app, Plantix app, is for plant protection for farmers exclusively and for extension people. It's a basic app that identifies the pests, diseases and nutrient deficiencies that commonly occur during the crop production cycle. So when a farmer goes to his field or her field and just goes to the, opens the app and clicks an image, the image is immediately uploaded to our service and there it gets processed and the identity of that pest disease or the nutrient deficiency comes back in the form of a solution. And moreover, there will be other stuff like the symptoms, the triggers, the management practices like biological control, chemical control, and other practices that can go ahead, a farmer can go ahead in addressing that problem. This is developed by Pete, a German-based company, and Ecosat is in collaboration with them as an on-site partner in India and across the world. And we have partnered with local institutions like the state agriculture universities, like Angru and others. And we have enabled the content to be customized for our local situations and local crops. At the moment, there are 17 crops and about 120 diseases, pests and nutrient deficiency symptoms that can be easily identified by the app. And it will be extended to about 30 crops in the coming season and more diseases will be added to the app. There is a feature where all the pest diseases and nutrient deficiencies are appearing in a library. Once anyone downloads this app, even in offline mode, they can see the library with all the details of these pest diseases or nutrient deficiency damages. A farmer, when they face with any problem that they identify in the field, they take a sample of the plant and goes to the nearest trader and the trader, when they see the symptoms, they use their wisdom to sell their products. And most of the time, they'll be pushing wrong products. And even because of the vulnerable situation of the farmer, they'll top it up to sell other stuff which is not needed. So the farmer eventually uh, ends up buying um, and putting more cost to its production. That also escalates the cost. And also dumping unnecessary chemicals into precious soils. So we find this app benefiting the farmers in a very direct way. Presently, we are aware that about 10 to 15 percent of the farming community have smartphones. This is an Android app. So what we see is when we have conducted uh, this field, farmer field focused discussions and in during those discussions, we have come to know that most of the children within their households do have a smartphone and unfortunately, if you see the young people right now in agriculture, as a livelihood, they have come down dramatically and no young, young person is interested to go to the field because it is laborious and unattractive basically as a livelihood. So we find now at least we are uh, requesting the farmers to engage their children, get them to the farms. At least when they see this technology at work, we are hoping that at least few of them get interest back into farming and that is what we see as a technology intervention that can pull people back into farming. One of the questions that arises during our interaction with farmers in the field has always been whether we should go for chemical control or biological control or there are other systems like natural farming practices, some traditional practices and local practices that were passed on from other farmers or their forefathers. And there is a repository of a lot of wisdom out there in farming. We don't want to lose all that right now whatever the universities when there is evidence in research that scientific information is placed in the app and there is a provision to share information that is not yet scientifically confirmed like um, for example biological control is all already uh, existing and scientifically proven uh, information that is available for many crops so that finds place right at the beginning and up front then comes information on chemical control and then we have a community, farmers community sharing platform within the app. So anyone who, who has a problem and wants to see if there is any other practice or recommendation can post a question directly to others. And you need not be in the scientific community to answer it. Anyone, your colleagues, uh, other farmers, uh, research institute people, academicians, anyone can pop in and give their advice. So that advice can actually come from peers. So this is enabled in this platform. Plantix app has weather component embedded in this platform. So 
at the moment we have five day forecast especially which is useful for their sowings or at the harvest time to make some timely uh, information available for the farmer this weather uh, because these phones uh, most of the smartphones have the location the latitude and the longitude and the time tagged along with the uh, photograph we get to see real time the exact location of this picture from where it is coming and the damage so what we get at the moment is very good primary data right from the fields and now that when we couple with some modeling using uh, weather weather variables and other data like soil health data and groundwater resource data then we can do some modeling and predict the actual occurrence of a pest or a disease so something that was in theory can now be put into practice using technologies like this and this is available right now